Uh, okay, so look, you never want to be on the end, Davis, of, of that moss as last year. Like, you never want to be there where you take a guy and they're just done. I don't think Keenan Allen is done by any means. I mean, the guy is coming off a great year, but I, I think you just kind of have to accept one or two games a year he's just going to miss as he's getting up there with age. And there's a lot of very frustrated fantasy owners. Uh, last week, he started off well, got hurt, missed the game. Do you think that he is a candidate to pluck off someone's roster right now to roster for your team the rest of the season? Nope, I would uh, I would be looking to trade Keenan Allen to a true believer. I definitely would not cut him, you know, cutting like Keenan Allen's going to come back and he's going to be fine, but he is a 31-year-old wide receiver with a hamstring injury. They drafted Josh Palmer in the third round last season in the one game that Keenan Allen missed last season, the Chargers, I think crucially they won and Palmer had 70 yards and a touchdown. Maybe more importantly, they just paid Mike Williams $21 million a year. Uh, And I I think a lot of the evidence would suggest that Mike Williams is, you know, not as good of a route runner as Keenan Allen, but certainly a more physically dominant wide receiver. Austin Eckler, one of the best passing down backs in the NFL. They signed Gerald Everett in free agency. Like, if I could get A.J. Dillon for Keenan Allen right now, I would, I would, I would, I would super pull the trigger on that. And I would maybe even pull, I would, you know, try and trade Keenan for like a younger wide receiver or a guy who maybe had a bad week one, but you're high on like 31 year old wide receiver with a hamstring injury. Not, not for me. 